there. So, who brought you in here? This is my kitchen. Well, just kidding while you're here. Welcome to my cute kitchen nook and my craft chairs. And welcome to the first episode of Margie May's Gourmets. Yeah, okay, yeah, that was that. Was that. Last time I did the sandwich vlog, you guys really seemed to like that because I was obsessed with this sandwich that I was buying. It was a veggie sandwich, I'll link it below. It was so good, it still is so good. But then I was like, dang, I'm freaking breaking the bank buying the sandwich every day. And I didn't like the dupe that I made. I just didn't want it enough. And it was so many ingredients and I'm just not that girl. I have no patience with food. So guess what? I have a new favorite food. And you guys have been seeing it on my Instagram stories and you've been asking me what is that concoction? What is that concoction? We're about to make it together and I can't wait to show you. And I'm panting and I cannot get over how freaking cute my kitchen is. But we're gonna get over it because we're gonna cook. And let me tell you, this tutorial has no cooking involved. It's really just preparing, which is probably why I successfully make it every day and on it's so good. Okay, let's start. So I'm gonna get all the ingredients, show you what it is, but long story short, it's an avocado tomato rice cake situation, but the important ingredients that I add to it, the secret sauces on it, make it insatiable, which means, I think it means, you're gonna wanna eat it every day. Yeah, and I really do. I eat this for breakfast slash lunch every single day. So good. Good. And it won't break the bank. So let's get after it. All the ingredients beautifully lined up. Okay, let me go through them really fast. Ingredient number one, rice cakes. I get the brown rice organic rice cakes. They're lightly salted. You do not have to buy these specific ones, but I will say I get them at Trader Joe's. All of this is available at Trader Joe's, which I love, one-stop shop. But you can substitute your favorite rice cake. However, I sometimes buy the no salted ones and I will say they break apart surprisingly a lot. So I like the lightly salted ones because I'm eating this, like basically the rice cake is my sandwich bread and if it's falling apart the whole time, it's just super messy. I prefer the lightly salted because it stays together more. You can substitute this for with like an Ezekiel bread situation, a regular bread, like toast. I would say toast for what I'm about to make. Regular bread would be kind of weird, but to each his own. You're gonna see some ingredients in here that you're gonna say, what the frick is she doing? But my taste buds don't lie, honey. Okay, we got this. Second important, very important ingredient, an avocado. When I make my breakfast, I use a whole dang avocado. If you're like, my body can't keep up with that, use half of one, it doesn't matter. But I go in. Next ingredients, tomatoes. I like tomatoes on the vine. I just think they taste good. All from Trader Joe's, organic, yum yum dot com com. Next ingredient, organic yellow mustard. Definitely don't have to buy organic mustard, but this is what they sell at Trader Joe's. It's a very important ingredient, but you're gonna say, what is she doing? Everything with the bagel, sesame seasoning. Just, just, just. You can put it on anything, anything. You can put this on anything. And last but not least, look at this posture. Hot and sweet jalapenos. Listen, I have made this concoction with regular jalapenos and it's different because the secret sauce is the secret sauce in here, the sweet sauce, it's so good. It's so good. It's all this stuff smashed into one concoction and I shove it in my face in a minute and a half. All right, here we go, we're gonna make it. Bye. Welcome to my little house. My little house on the prairie. I'm so proud of this breakfast nook. Come in here, come in here little guys. Come in here you cuties. Step number one, freaking drop your rice cakes on the floor. Get your rice cake out. I usually make three to four of these. I'm only gonna make one today because let me tell you, here's been the freaking situation with this video. I've been wanting to make this video for weeks because you guys have been messaging me, what's that thing you're eating? But every day I'm like, I'm gonna make this. I don't wanna look like trash when I make the video, but what happens is I wake up, I work out like a maniac and I look like a maniac and then I come home and I'm like, I'm freaking so hungry. I don't wanna put hair and makeup to look normal in this video. So then I make it and then I eat it in two seconds and I have no footage of it. So. I actually already ate this today. I already had four of these, so I'm just gonna make one. But when I say make four, three to four, do it and use the whole avocado. Freaking sweating. Get your plate. One rice cake. Put rice cake on plate. I don't know what accent that is. Step two, get avocado and cut avocado with knife. You seeing this? You wanna get up real quick when I do this? Oh wow, hey. I feel like I'm in tiny kitchen right now. Cut avocado in half. You seeing this little shindig? Ugh. 
Gorgeous, darling, gorgeous. Take these two ingredients, put it on the rice cake. I go pretty in with my avo, smash it on there. You're gonna rub this in. This is the, kind of the staple ingredient, but all the stuff that goes on top is what actually is delicious. This is like the, I don't freaking know, the pita chip and then the rest is the hummus. It's so good, the dip that's so good. This is the staple. It's important to get some avocado in there because it's healthy fat and it will keep me full for a long period of time, which is important. All right. Step one done, next ingredient. Wash your tomato. Tomato, let's cut this. Yeah, I use a pre-cut tomato because it's kind of like the cereal milk dilemma. You always have like more tomato and more avocado left and you gotta save it. Wow, my head looks so giant. Okay, we're gonna cut this little guy into little slices. You see in this? I at least am eating a whole tomato every day too for this meal. I love a good tomato. Tomatoes and avocados and rice cakes are staples in my diet. We've cut our tomatoes. This next step is super, super, Important, freaking mustard. Yellow mustard. This is the ingredient people are like, what the frick is that yellow stuff on this? It's mustard, I love mustard. You don't have to use the mustard, but let me tell you, if you do it right, if you do the way I do it, you're gonna love it. That's a good amount. Yeah, quarter sized. Some days I just slay it on, just lather it on. Okay, rub this in. Honestly, it could use more mustard, I'm not gonna lie. It could use more mustard. Bang, boom, everything but the bagel seasoning. I talked about this in other videos. It's freaking fire, fire.com slice bonkers boogity bumps. I'll link it, okay? You wanna see that so don't you? See it? Okay. Wow, I mean, this is the most beautiful way I've ever met it. Got that? You got that stuff? Then we're gonna put on, this is the best stuff ever. Hot and sweet jalapenos. Listen, two steps here. First step is to put some jalapenos on the thing. Maybe like three, let me tell you. If you go ham, these are so tasty. They're not like regular jalapenos. They're so good, you're gonna want the whole, you're gonna have want like six on. Well, let me tell you, when you eat six times four, 24 jalapeno slices, good luck with your butt, good. Freaking lock and that's gonna fall. Everything falls in my life. Okay, I'm putting three. Mm. Okay, a couple more. I put five on here, whoops. Then listen, currently it looks like this. Now we place our tomato slices on top. Now she looks like this. Now for the final step. The syrup here is so good. You just wanna freaking. This is my breakfast porn right here. That's why I'm getting really up close. Drizzle that slizzle all over it. Okay, did you see that? Replay that for the people, ladies, Margie. That slizzle. You just saw behind the scenes. That's literally all you gotta do. Then you freaking clean this up. That path pop. This is actually the most beautiful version of this I've ever, ever made. Try this. Send me videos of you eating this on my Instagram. I'm sorry, it's so good. You're gonna be addicted to eating this every single morning. Yeah, and you know what's nice? It's, it's full of such good ingredients that like I feel energized by it. I don't feel dragged down. It's not a sugary cereal. It's not like a dairy, accidental dairy product that like you feel sick. You can add ingredients take away things, you don't have to do the mustard, you don't have to use the syrup, even though I recommend it. You don't have to use this, you can use chili powder, you can use sriracha, you can mix it up, you don't have to have tomatoes, I love the tomatoes though. You can add like some spinach on there, some arugula on there, you can add takeaway, whatever, but those are the staples. This concoction will not fill your taste buds. Honey, look how gorgeous this is. Gorgeous, darling, hold on, I'm gonna do a close up. That's what she looks like, guys. There she blows with all the ingredients behind it. Beautiful, oh my gosh, she's stunning. And this is what Kate was the behind the scenes. You got all the stuff you need. It's really easy, it's like five ingredients total. And it's the best, and I'm gonna link them all. And enjoy, bone app a treat. It's so good. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the freaking taste test. Here we go. Oh my gosh, it's such a good smell. It smells so good. It smells like the freaking everything with the bagel mixed with the syrupy syrupness mixed with the mustard. <gasps> mm -hmm. I literally, I'm not even kidding you. It makes me do this dance. I'm not even kidding. I wasn't even hungry when I started making this. Wasn't hungry. Literally, was not hungry in the slightest. That's why I only made one. Whoa. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm, oh my gosh, this is my fifth one of the day. It's so good, you guys. Go make this, tell me what you think. Tell me how many you're eating. Tell me what you're doing if you're adding things. I'm just spitting everywhere right now. I'm doing lunges right now. 
Why eat this? I'm not gonna lie. I was gonna freaking take a fake bite for this. I wasn't even gonna eat the whole thing. I can't resist it. Homemade? Wow, if I do the math, this probably cost me like $2 to make. Any questions? Your butt's gonna burn, baby. Burn. Should I stop rolling the tapes? Oh my gosh. I'm done. I ate the whole thing. That's my avocado tomato rice cake breakfast every day. Make it, send me pictures, I can't wait. I hope this is helpful and I hope you liked this. And this was my episode of Margie May's Gourmets. I love you, I hope you love this. I know you're gonna love this breakfast. I love my breakfast nook. I hope you love this episode of Food With Me. Like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you wanna say. And that was that. The aftermath, ladies and gents. Clean up time, ladies and jonkers. Is this working? Okay. Well, the good news is the cleanup is pretty easy, so all I'm doing is putting away the rice cakes. Bang, boom, not refrigerated. These all go in the fridge. This can be in the pantry until you open it, the jalapenos. So I buy like three bottles and I put them in the pantry until I open it then in the fridge. This little guy can be stored in the pantry too. No fridge necessary. <laughs> then we have my plates. I always wrap up any remaining avocado or tomato to save it for the next time. It's so good, why would we waste? Not to mention, those two ingredients are so useful. I put them in salad. Heck yes, queen. So yeah, they're absolute staples in my house. If I don't have them in my house, I feel like done. I put all the stuff away, then I just dump all the food into the actual trash, and then we're gonna wash the thing. Note to self, if you leave avocado chunks on the freaking plate in the sink for a week and a half trying to not do dishes, it'll get gross. Frick it, that was the meal. Margie Mays Gourmets, she loves you. Bye bye, boom boom, bye bye.